new phone means new accessories, like this. So let's check it out. Look, I've read all your comments, so the first accessory is quite possibly the most affordable yet functional that I've come across. This is the Ulanzi vlog mirror, literally a tiny dome-shaped mirror with some tape on the back. And as the name suggests, it's designed to help you capture the moments that matter, like that third coffee you're making today, so all your followers will know you're well hydrated. Sure, you can argue it's a lot easier if you just use the front camera, but you can't ignore how much a Samsung phone packs around back. So having this tiny mirror to ensure you're always centered is major key to getting all the likes. Like how you should also like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Ideally, you want to align it right beside the camera and the provided sticky back does a surprisingly fantastic job at staying in place. Then whenever you're feeling like the world revolves around you, now you just have to make sure you're centered in the mirror and watch all the likes, comments, and views roll right in. Personally though, I just find it handy to reassure my fear of constantly having something stuck between my pearl white teeth. Next up, thanks to the partner of this video, we've got a few accessory essentials that every phone owner needs right off the bat, starting with a reliable external battery. Now RAV Power has a full range of shapes and sizes to choose from, but I went ham with the 30,000 milliamp capacity because if y'all own the S21 Ultra, you know it'd be thirsty. Although only offering a single USB USB-C and USB-A port, they really make it count, spitting 90 watts of charge out of this tiny hole. That's way more than enough to charge the S21 Ultra, which maxes out at 25 watts, but the whole idea of an external battery is to be a backup. So it's designed to even handle and quickly charge larger devices like a tablet thanks to its 90 watt max output, which you can pair with another accessory on the secondary port with that one maxing out at an 18 watt output. But my favorite use case, this chunker is so strong, it works as a backup battery to my actual laptop. Topping it up from 0 to 100, real quick. Now, while I'm a fan of the large chocolate bar simplistic design with rather smooth round edges that I weirdly love feeling up, it's not one you can pocket comfortably. But if you're taking a trip in the wilderness or even just being out all day, having this in your bag means it's one less thing you have to worry about as now you know none of your devices will ever run out of juice. Next up, thanks to Apple being a trendsetter, OEM phone chargers are now as rare as a first edition Charizard. And while there are plenty to choose from, RAV Power also offers a range of wall chargers like this one, a 65 watt GAN charger that strangely looks kind of cute, has fold out prongs and dual USB-C ports. One pumping out a top speed of 45 watts and the other at 20 watts. So in setting this up, you can appreciate the small details like the tiny LED that lets you know it's ready to pump out some juice and the fact that 45 watts is more than enough to fast charge even the largest batteries on the fly. So I don't know about you, but two ports is generally enough for me to keep everything charged and ready for the next day, especially when you consider the trade-off in size. It's comparable to very commonly pocketed items. But when you're done, having fold up prongs are a really underappreciated feature that makes packing these necessities way more pleasant. And one last thing during my tests, can we just appreciate a dual port charger that spits out this much power without it ball hogging the whole damn outlet? Seriously, it's the small details you'll probably never notice, but makes a huge difference. Another missing piece to the puzzle, earphones. Although I never used the ones provided in the box, it was nice knowing I had the option to feel basic because we all know wireless earphones are the way to go. Like these from Tautronic, the Sound Liberty 97 wireless earbuds. The fact that these are under $50 is just the tip of the iceberg as these pack most features you'd find in buds that are four times the cost inside such a tiny little chicken nugget. Personally though, my first priority for earphones is fit. And while they do offer a few bud sizes to choose from, the standard included size surprisingly fits snug even in my larger right ear hole. The fact that they don't obnoxiously stick out is another bonus and the IPX8 waterproofing means I can sweat for days without an issue or even have the option to run in the rain in case one day I suddenly have a surge of willpower to do so. The touch surface controls are simple to operate with a single, double, and triple tap. Plus, each side can be used individually as well, something I found other affordable earphones tend to lack. The real kicker for me though, they're rated for nine hours of playback. What? Sponsored or not, that's the longest I've ever tested in any earphones. Add in the case, and you've got 29 hours of total playtime, with the ability to top up two hours of playtime from only 10 minutes of charging thanks to the USB-C quick charge. These tiny buds just get the basics right. Good audio quality, long battery life, and all in a tiny package that you won't think twice about taking with you. So a huge shout out to Rav Power for partnering on this video. Check out all their affordable yet functional gear 
link down below. Now when it comes to accessories, we gotta talk cases. This one going to dbrand and their grip case, because truthfully, this may be the closest thing you'll ever get to touching something naked. Now the inside isn't as exciting, but quite comfy thanks to the microfiber lining, but their creme de la creme is this. These race stripe like rubber patches along the edges. However, checking out the case itself first, the buttons are textured and very clicky. It's got proper cutouts for all the other random ports on the phone, plus a thick enough booty around back to keep all 30 camera lenses safe when you do this. So as a case, it gets the basics right, but combine that with the grippy edges we saw earlier, it takes it to the next level. Because for anyone that likes all things big, black, and long, you know it's not the easiest one-handed job. That's where these rubber patches come in handy, by giving your finger something to actually latch onto without bulking up this already girthy phone. Although if you are a complete klutz, don't worry. It's got some thick lips around the top and bottom of the screen to keep it lifted on flat surfaces, while also keeping the side edges lower to accommodate that curved edge. And for some smooth right swiping for all the tindering you'll be doing tonight, that is until you realize how lonely you are and you take it out on your phone. But don't worry because DKs can handle your pain and will always love you. Now, if you don't get hard over this wicked back design, the beauty of dbrand is that they don't judge what you like in bed. They offer a whole range of designs to choose from, like this nice soft and pastel red, a color shifting black camel, or my new favorite, the icons collection from MKBHD, because having an Apple icon on your Samsung device is the ultimate flex on yourself. Plus, the matte finish also helps with your greasy chicken fingers. So while this is a great case option to keep your phone safe, some of us, like myself, just never drop our phones and want to stay super slim, but still love to customize so you don't look like a sheep following the herd. The brand also has you covered, literally, with phone skins too. They use that 3M good stuff that doesn't leave any residue when you're tired of that design, and insulation is pretty straightforward as long as you know how to follow instructions. Then, wha-bam. If you're concerned about it lifting, don't worry. It ain't going anywhere. It adds zero bulk to the phone, keeps it scratch-free now, and come on, I'd tap this phone if you know what I'm saying. So let me know which design makes your mouth water. Comment down below. Now given we stare, touch, and in general feel the screen up all day, the logical next step is to keep that protected too. Enter Spigen and their new Glass TR Platinum, which looks a little intense, but well worth it in the end for a proper fit. Now this isn't new and they didn't invent this tech, but Spigen is a brand I trust to just get it right. They provide every doohickey you need to get set up and with fairly easy to follow instructions. Now this isn't a tutorial, but a quick overview to how easy it is. So taking the bottom tray first, carefully putting the phone inside, wipe down your grimy finger residue to do off the screen, stick that chunker in place, slap the top shell to lock it in, using the eyeball to ensure your table isn't wobbly AF, then pop in the orange alignment thingies, releasing the magic potion that makes everything work, and plopping the actual screen protector on top, squeezing the glue all around making sure it touches every corner. Finally, landing the alien ship on top, turning it on and starting from the bottom, which lasts for about a minute, then moving your way up as it turns off. Going through one pass, wiping down any excess scoop, and then repeating the salon process a few more times to let the glue work its magic. Then, wha-bam, that's it. Now you've got a clear layer of glass protecting the goodies under, keeping the screen fingerprint and scratch free without hindering the performance of the phone itself. And most importantly, getting a perfect alignment without breaking a sweat. Plus, once that glue does solidify, it ain't going anywhere without a fight. The best part of glass screen protectors is that you still get complete clarity and you honestly forget you even have another piece of glass on top, as you're still able to output some masterpieces on the fly. Do note though, it is still glass in the end, and it's not designed to protect against major impact. But if you combine it with our case of choice, you're still getting 360 degrees of coverage. This is the complete package to slap on right out of the box, and you no longer have to worry about using this monstrosity of a phone. This one is for the mobile gamers out there, and honestly, great for anyone with a button fetish too, because the FlyDigi Apex Series 2 controller has every button you can dream of, and then some. The best part is, they don't skimp on build quality to make that happen either. The rubber grip and ergonomics fit my medium-sized hands comfortably, and it doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. They took the concept of all-in-one to another level with this though. While the controller has Bluetooth, for you PC gamers, the dongle is hidden inside the controller so you always have access to it. But on the opposite end is where it gets really exciting because the beauty of this controller is this basically a third joystick but with this insert the controller can also just be a regular controller as well yeah options galore obviously i have to show off what it can do though so turning this sucker on with a flick of the wrist download the companion app where it gives you full customization options 
right down to the color of the LEDs as well. It's not game changing, but very cool to play around with. The controller can support all sorts of MMORPGs, MOBAs, and FPS games too. Honestly, it's the first controller I've come across that does it well, thanks to the amount of buttons available to select every action available on screen. But what really makes this a game changer is this, the third joystick-like feature that previously only actually touching the screen could achieve, but can now be done with an actual controller button. Mine blown. You can now complete a whole game solely with a controller. Although this doesn't suddenly make you a pro gamer and it isn't a guarantee you still won't rage quit and throw your phone across the room. Now Fly Digi also includes a foam mount which is perfect for FPS shooters and being immersed in the action like literally right into it because with the motion sensor built in you can adjust and aim by moving your hands around too seriously with this controller you have no excuse to be losing any games when you're done though it does fly away and the controller itself can be charged with the same usb-c cable for your phone too plus if buttons on buttons on buttons wasn't enough you can also swap out the joysticks too as two other heights are included in the package for a completely unique experience that fits your gaming needs the protective case is just the cherry on top. And honestly, it solidifies this controller as being the only one you'll ever need for a very long time. This one is a first for this series, but with how many accessories you'll be hoarding, it's a new must have. The Air Slim pouch is made of a durable ballistic nylon exterior, YKK zippers, and just pockets for days on the inside. It's got a large sleeve pocket, zippered pouch in front, and several stretch sleeves too, or just a large open space if none of that suits your needs. Personally, I love the organization especially when it comes to carrying smaller accessories and that slight padding on the back is perfect to just throw your phone in and be confident that all your gear inside is protected and organized in one space. The quick access front pocket may not be deep but it's perfect to access items on the fly like your daily essentials. Now with it all packed in though while you can totally take this out like a mini purse it also works perfectly when you pair it with your favorite sling bag for some extra padded protection. Also great for traveling or commuting around the city with your gear in a single place or to just expand your bag by adding an additional quick access pocket while you're out and about. Cha-ching. This is the best accessory you'll never see. And that's kind of the point because just like that, your phone starts charging with nothing taking up any table space. And more importantly, one less eyesore clogging up your tabletop. This is the QZLAB UTS-1 wireless charger. Sure, it's not pretty, made of a plastic shell all around, but it's designed to be invisible. This is one of the most powerful wireless chargers out there. So don't ignore that huge stop sign that tells you not to directly charge your phone on top of it because it may or may not spontaneously combust due to how much power it outputs. But that power is important because when combined with the pre-installed 3M tape, it's meant to be installed under the table, hidden away. Although not every table will work, mainly that it can't be metallic and ideally within the recommended thickness that is conveniently printed onto the box to measure. But if your table does meet all the criteria, find the most convenient spot for your phone to charge on top of the table, plug that sucker in, then using the included alignment sheets, you're able to find the exact spot where the charger outputs its greatest hit and well, bam, that's now the spot to always park your phone to keep it charged. And yes, thanks to all that output power and the wooden table dampening it just enough, it is safely able to reach the fastest of charging too. Plus, if you're smart, you probably picked up the case that I featured earlier as well. And don't worry, the charger can handle that extra girth, no problemo. Serious question, Team Apple or Team Android? Comment down below. But that's it. I rest my Samsung S21 accessories.